Hello, it will be a quick tutorial on OpenGL. Uh, it is about the display list. Display list is a list of OpenGL commands which you can send directly to the graphics card uh, whenever you want. Uh, and that may increase the performance. But the main reason I show you this is because the 3D object model loader, which we will write in the next tutorial or so, uh, will use this technique to uh, store the model and then uh, how we dra uh, draw it. So, basically all we do is make a new list, so gl new list and it has two parameters. The first is an ID, which we the identification for this specific list. So, for example, make it one, or you can make a constant variable. So, const int triangle and equal one uh, int. Uh, all right, and then just write triangle in here. So this. Uh, will be the identification so that's how you can call the list later to draw it and then the second parameter is a flag how do you want to uh, uh, make the list you just want to compile everything which is inside the list or you want to uh, draw it and compile it uh, the f uh, one of this GL compile this will just compile the list but not draw it to the screen the other is the gl compile and execute okay and the gl new list has a corresponding gl end list like that okay and now we can copy this entire uh, triangle drawing part to the list like that uh, so as you can see, we can store colors, vertexes in this list. And whenever uh, I want to display this triangle, I just uh, use the GL call list. GL call list. And uh, just uh, press the identification here. So triangle. Tri okay, this is the constant which we made in here this is the identification one obviously you can set any number you want for the display list but uh, i just start from one and go through every list if i create a new one usually okay and basically that's about it we created a list so now if i save and compile okay and now i can run the program as you can see we get the same triangle as we get earlier although if I delete this call list function so I don't call the display list we cannot see anything so whenever we want to draw this triangle we just use the call list although that's not particularly useful in case of just uh, um, so a few vertexes and few colors but it could be very uh, uh, good if you have thousands of vertices and actually the model viewer will load thousands of vertices Okay, I think that's about it, but because I have uh, remained a lot of time I think we can go through the program again. So if you understand it uh, uh, You can go now, but uh, if you don't then I just go through uh, briefly Okay, so in the init function we have a clear color this is basically clear the, the screen this is the color which the gl color buffer bit will be cleared so basically the background color then we change to projection matrix so we actually can change uh, what part of the 3d scene should be rendered into the screen uh, then we set back everything to normal so if there is uh, something uh, uh, in the so if there is something transformation we just set it back although probably because if it's just an instant function there is no uh, transformation so probably it would work without this line in here 
we use the GLU perspective to create a pyramid which uh, yeah a pyramid and the angle between the so the angle of the pyramid is 45 degrees and then the width and the height ratio so just simple divide the width with the height and then the closer clipper pane uh, and then the farther so in here I just simple demonstrate it okay it looks something like that here is the monitor here is your eye here is the camera as you want to call it so that's how uh, you can see basically it just demonstrate the real life because in the real life you uh, see like this so yes okay and then the first angle which I show you this angle in here and uh, this is a closer clipper pane so everything is closer than the closed clipper pane will not be shown and this is the far clipper pane everything that is farther than this far clipper pane will not be shown as well so basically that's uh, where it is uh, shown everything obviously this is 3d okay uh, so that's what this GLU perspective do okay and then we set the model U so we can manipulate the position of the object we can uh, yes basically okay and now uh, I show you the display list so I don't really go into that okay in the display function we just clear the screen we uh, so use the GL clear GL clear can uh, clear a lot of buffers but we just clear the color buffer at the moment which is basically the colors of the screen then we set back the transformation as as you have so uh, as you have seen in the earlier tutorial the triangle is continuously go uh, in the z, the z axis that's because if I translate once it will remain the transformation uh, so first it will be mi minus 5 transformation then minus 10 and minus 15 and so on okay and in here we called the list although I comment this out alright probably you should know the SDL because we use them a lot uh, the one you think is this SDL OpenGL which will tell uh, SDL that we want to use the OpenGL rendering instead of the SDL rendering okay and basically that was it one last thing is to swap the buffers because the OpenGL uses double buffering it means that it is right one buffer and then when the drawing is finished it just simple flip the bu uh, uh, buffers so swap the buffers so first it draw a buffer which is not the screen uh, so it is a back buffer and then when it finished it just swap the two buffers and then it draw what was the screen and the and it show the back buffer and basically that's uh, what it does okay so we go through the program uh, thank you for watching and have a great day